What are you hoping to hear from the judge today, Mr. Meyer? We're talking about seven years of uh, the defendant, Joseph Myrie, a man who's supposed to protect his family, love his family, respect his family. We're talking about him torturing them for years, using shock collars, using lancets to stick needles under their nails, strangling them to the point where they would pass out. So we're talking about a man who tortured the people he was supposed to protect, his own family, his own children. Today, he was finally held accountable, and I hope that the victims that are survivors more than victims can sleep easy tonight knowing that he will never be able to hurt them again and he is behind bars. Do you have any comment, Mr. Myrie, about the sentence you got today? The kids are resilient, as most children are, and they are um, now in a place where they can start to move on. So they are working together, mother, son, and daughter, to move on from this. Domestic violence, child abuse, these are crimes that take place behind closed doors, that take place in secret. And unfortunately, that makes it so hard to hold some of these people accountable. But we will, as this sentence shows, we will hold people accountable. Um, this specific instance of domestic violence and child abuse, obviously spanning over years, is certainly the worst I've seen in Montgomery County, one of the worst cases we've seen. But what it shows is we're going to hold these people that hurt their own families, and in this case, torture their own families, we'll hold them accountable. And he was torturing them how? What uh, would he in do? In various ways. He certainly had a bunch of different options in his back pocket. He would, uh, as I said before, he would use a shock collar, a dog shock collar, uh, have them place it on themselves. He would do this sometimes giving them the option they could have that as a punishment or they could instead take a beating um, with his hands or with a stick. He would put lancets, needles under their nails. He would strangle them. He would get on top of them. Uh, he used rubber mallets, he used screwdrivers, he used any household item that he could turn into a weapon and, and routinely hit them. This is Carl Hessler Jr. reporting for Digital First Media from the Montgomery County Courthouse in Norristown.